Hello guys, we have the next project. So, I have here a Maker Factory 3D printing pen and um, we got this pretty cheap from Conrad uh, but this is because it has a issue uh, and on the box it says it doesn't grip the filament. Um, I have undone the box so we can see what's inside and actually it came with some filament that's nice so it looks pretty new so we have in here the pen it's very small it's actually pretty tiny um, what else have we got here we have I guess uh, some finger shoes but I have huge hands Came with two. Okay, so this one fits my little finger. Um, a holder to hold it in, so we can stick it there. Charger, well, the power supply, which is just a five volt uh, USB power supply. And it says here the input is 100 to 240. And the output is 5 volts at 2 amps. 10 watt. Um, so, yeah, came with also the uh, plug to plug it in. And some filament to go with it. So this one is PLA. I took this one out earlier. Um, this is PLC. And we have also ABS, a couple of instruction manuals. So, what have we got in here? 3D Druckstift. We've got three meters of PLA, ABS, and PLC. So, that's how much is in there. So, not much intended use. This product is create three dimensional objects made of plastic filament. Wonderful. Apparently, it came with two stencils. Did it? Is that what these are then? I don't know. What's this? I guess these are the stencils. I have no clue. What's this? Oh, you can make some glasses if you follow. Ah, oh, so you're right. Okay, so you basically print along here with your pen, you draw along around it, and then you can attach it and you can make your glasses. That's cool. All right. Well, anyway, we're not here to do that. We're here to figure out if this thing actually doesn't work because Conrad has a track record of selling what are supposed to be faulty things and actually they're not. So let's plug this in. First, we should undo that. And stand this up. Oh, and it has a suction cup underneath, that's cool. Very handy, although it won't stick here. <sighs> okay, so now it's asking PLA. Actually, I should read the instructions because I don't really know how this works very well. Oh, they have it in English as well. Right, let's see. A, set up the pen holder. Wonderful. 
Select filament type. Use button 4 or 5 to select the filament type. Well, this is PLA, so we're going to use that. And button 4 or 5, those two. It's already set on PLA according to that. So. Press button, turn the red LED lights up. Okie dokie. The product begins preheating. The display shows the temperature of the heating element. Once the LED changes from red to green, preheating is complete. Now you can continue with the other settings. Select speed. Press button 2 or 3 to select the speed in which the, the filament is extruded. There are 8 levels to choose from. Level 8 is the fastest and level 5 is the factory. Filament feed. The, filament, the, feed, the selected filament into the feed opening, number 7, which is this hole here. Um, press button 10 to feed the filament. As soon as the melted material exits the nozzle, you can begin with your creation. <laughs> press button 10 for continuous extrusion. Press button 10 to stop. Okay, and you get all kinds of uh, different things you can do with it. Okay. I can smell this thing from here. Oh, it's, it's 173 watts. Is that centigrade? Okay. Well, let's see what happens. So, it's basically saying that the filament won't go in properly. And so let's see what's happening here. So let's plug it in, put it in and... Okay. So I felt it bring it in. Ow, it's getting hot. But it's not going in actually, okay. It just reversed it out. So maybe there's something stuck inside. Oh. No. Odd. So it takes it in a little bit, but it gets stuck, so it, it is in there. But it's just not. Just not taking it in. Okay. Well, then let's get it apart after it's cooled and uh, see if there's something stuck inside. Okay, so let's try and take this thing apart. Uh, I assume then this bit comes up. See if we can get our and pop this off. It's obviously stuck down by something, but not sure what. I assume it's uh, like a snap fit. I'm not sure. It was. Okay. So what do we have here? Power, motor and some connectors. I wonder if this bit will come off. Actually, let's Let's get those screws out. I 
find myself a screwdriver. Okay, so I have my screwdriver and take this one out. Okay. Move these things out of the way here. Let's take off this cover. And what do we have? Oh, it's a gearbox. Nice. Okay. Interesting. So we've got a gearbox. Can we take out this whole unit? I think we can, but... I'm not sure how. Does it slide out? Does it slide backwards? If we give it a bit of a pull. No. Seems it's stuck in there. Maybe we have to uh, pop this top off. Oh! And what do we see? Oh, what a technical setup! What a technical setup. Okay, let's. So this is the power one. Power. Jack, let's just move that, get that out of the way for a sec. Look at that. So there's something stuck in here. Maybe that's just what the issue is. It's just stuck in. Somebody's forced some uh, wire in there and got it stuck so let's grab that out I have to use these snips because I don't have any uh, small pliers with me at the moment so I've got to be really gentle Taking its time. Hmm. Must be a way of getting this thing out of there. Oh, it slides forward. Look. Okay. Cool. Let's get it out then. We are left with uh. Ha! Huh. Here is the culprit. Long stuck wire. Why was it stuck in there in the first place? That's uh, that's the question, isn't it? Okay, so We've managed to get it out. Um, when I put it back together, of course, we know it's going to work, but let's just take a look around this board. So, it's made by Sunlu. 
and there is a website on there www.sunlu wait what sunlugu sunlugu dot com <laughs> alright then we've got motor jack there and power I don't know if they've got their own website wrong or what I don't know I better Maybe you should check that website out, see if it actually works. Alright, let's get it back together. Oh wait, let's have a look at this technicality. Look at that sophisticated piece of engineering. That's really cool, isn't it? We have a bearing here. A worm gear on the end of this gearbox. And many many gears inside this gearbox jeez I just want to power it up so that I can uh, check it out but I don't have my bench power supply with me that's pretty interesting so the wire feeds in between this bearing and these teeth on this gear here and it just pulls it through down that tube to the end where it's melted and um, extruded into the design that you want it to be extruded to let's get it back together hey we better check it out But what a technical design. So, motor in there. And, uh oh, I forgot to plug this put this in and that hooks in on there and the wiring is stuck now there we go that's one two Okie dokie, plug in the power, let's get the bracket in place, seems it goes on also in one direction. There we go. Awesome. So somehow I've got to hook that back end back in, there we go. Alright. I think there's just something trapped here. So, now I've put it back together, let's plug it in and see what happens, see if we can get it to work. Let's 
so it's warming up now and let's try it on one of these designs so we have here the Eiffel Tower or the glasses, shall we do the glasses? yeah let's do the glasses So we're up to 140, 150 degrees now. Move this stuff out of the way. I'm very curious to see if this actually is going to work. Hey! Well, it doesn't seem to be taking... Oh, it, it, it is. It's working. Cool, all right. It's very slow. It takes its time, this does. Oh, we've got some action going on in the end of this. Oh, it's pushing out all the rest of the old brush look. There we go. So, we've drawn the glasses, let's uh, see if we can peel this off now. Alright, that came off easier than I anticipated. <laughs> They're a little bit messy. Quality is not so good. They're a little bit hairy. But it's okay. Oh, this one's still a bit warm, I think. Alright, now we've got to somehow glue them, glue them together. glasses are done let's give them a try so we're going to test the 3d glasses now 
I mean, they're, they're, they're a bit small. But I think they're okay, right? <laughs> they are tiny. I mean, they, they sit pretty well. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video of uh, fixing this 3D printing pen. And uh, until the next one. <laughs>